You've probably seen buy swap sell groups on Facebook by now, like our local one for Sydney's Inner West. As they use right now, people post photos and texts of any items they want to sell or swap, and other members will comment or send direct messages to organise a trade. There are apparently millions of these groups all over Facebook. This system works okay right now, but Facebook just announced new features that will make it easier to buy and sell on selected groups. Let's have a look at those screenshots here. So judging from this, it looks like there will be a sell button placed next to the regular post button. Tapping on that will allow you to give your listing a title, a price, a pickup, or perhaps a delivery location, and a longer description. Looks like this camera icon down here allows you to upload an image too. And here's what these posts will look like when published. Better formatted, more sellable posts than are currently available. And having all this information here, asking price, location, description, and a good image, is sure to avoid frustration from potential buyers who may miss out on this information when a structure like this isn't enforced. Once you've found a suitable buyer or swapper, you can review all of your for sale posts and mark them as sold. This all sounds like a great new feature, and it will be rolled out to all Facebook for sale groups in the coming months, with admins able to nominate their group to participate now as well. So what are others saying about this? TechCrunch had a great article about it, mostly positive, but still mindful of the fact that groups on Facebook will need a number of improvements for it to be viable as a real marketplace. For example, searching for particular items and getting in touch with sellers are still relatively <coughs> difficult. Down in the comment section, Joe Varghese mentions that buying and selling via Facebook may become more attractive than Craigslist, as the basic information of the person you're dealing with will be available to you, which is an interesting point. Thanks for watching this public blurt. Get the free blurt app to make your own public and private blurts. Simply talk, point and draw over images, documents and websites. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay informed.